I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to a everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and strive after all that it does honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, You shall obey the voice of the Lord your God, and keep his commandments and his status, which are written in this book of the law, and turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment which I command you this day is not too hard for you. Rather is it far off. It is not in heaven that you shall say, who will, who will go up for us to heaven and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you shall say, who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it or do it. But the Lord is very near you. It is your mouth and your heart so that you can do it. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm and your response is, all you who are humble, Seek God and your heart shall have life. All you who are humble, seek God and your heart shall have life. All you are humble, seek God and heart shall have life.
Shall 
sacred reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, and in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is below all things, and in his all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That is everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the full fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to recognize to himself all things, whether or on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross, the word of the Lord. Kindly stand up for gospel acclamation. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, behold, a lawyer stood up to put Jesus to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you, what do you read there? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered right. Do this and you will live. But he, deciding to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who striped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion, and went to him and bowed up his woods, pouring on, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I'll repay when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said, The one who showed mercy on him. And Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. So we are gathered another Sunday to praise, to worship, to give thanks to God who has been so good to us. He has seen us through the whole of last week. Today, It's the first day of the week, so we are coming here to seek grace, strength, courage, to confront, to affront.
the, the, the next week to be a busy week. Our kids are going to be going back to school and uh, the, some civil servants, teachers will be also be traveling to go back to their places of work. So it shall be quite a very busy week. So we pray to God that at Wepushen Hata Resorte Saroho Nasakimwiri. This Sunday, as I have said, is the 15th Sunday of the year. We are almost at the middle of the year, the, of the ordinary time. And uh, the message for this Sunday is uh, from the first reading. We hear uh, somebody asking the very basic questions. I was told by my master that uh, if you all need to plan and plan well, we, you, need, you need to ask some basic questions like what, when, where, how, with who, you know, all those are very important. For example, uh, what am I intending to do tomorrow? So that is what, what, do I have the answer to that? Where am I going? With whom? At what time? How am I going to go where I'm, where I'm intending to go? So in every kind of action, that everything that you want to do, if you have not responded to these questions, you end up failing. For example, uh, what do I want to do? I want to get married. With who? When? Where? No? Uh, and how? All those are very important questions. So from, the, uh, from our readings today, the people are asking, or the, the Israelites are asking some very basic questions. First of all, to Moses, whom they are asking, now which is the right path to follow? What are we supposed to do? And uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses is responding that you shall obey the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of law and turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. That is what they are supposed to in, in order for them to live, they need to, first of all, obey the voice of the Lord. And then we need to keep the commandments. The commandments are ten. They are not many. And uh, we need also to turn to God with our heart and our soul. Because as we pray, our Father in heaven... We say, hallowed be your name, that uh, may the kingdom of God come and may his will be done. So we are here to accomplish God's will. We are not here to do what we want. Although we talk about freedom, we are not here to behave the way we want to behave. But there is a rule. There is something to be followed. The rule of humanity. We call it the natural law. That what is written in our hearts that uh, what is written in our hearts is clear that we should do good at all times and shun away from doing anything that is evil and uh, in fact if you read very well the, the, the word of the Lord from our, our scriptures you can even be a very good citizen because it says I'm supposed to do only what is good and the Ten Commandments as they are stipulated and as they are stated, the first four, they talk about reverence, the respect that you ought to give, to give to God, and the respect we need to give to our parents, to our elders. But from the fifth to the tenth commandment, those six uh, uh, commandments, they are concerned about respect. Respect your neighbor. Do not kill him. Do not uh, uh, say false things against him. Do not do what we call character assassination. Do not get, do not get angry against your neighbor. All those are concerned about the faith commandment. So if you respect your neighbor, you shall not think of even killing or harming the person. The sixth commandment, you know, is about purity. It's about uh, respecting other people's marriages, other people's bodies, and uh, and, and, the, and the and what follows. When we talk about uh, uh, adultery, fornication, those are the things that we need to respect. Others, our bodies first of all, and also the bodies of the others, and also respect the relationships that exist. 
the seventh commandment, you know what it says. You are not supposed to, to take other people's property. You need to respect the properties of the others. You don't need to steal. Ask, it shall be given to you. Do not destroy, do not do anything to the property of your neighbor. So, respect, do not steal. The eighth commandment, uh, which we are all victims of that, liars, matapeli, that, you know, we, we are not supposed to uh, lie or, you know, bear false witnesses to what is not necessarily true. And the ninth commandment connected to the people's, other people's families, need to respect other people's family. And the tenth commandment, we need to respect other people's property. So, respect, respect. That, uh, and it's very, very easy. I think it's not very difficult to respect others. It's not difficult to respect the property of the others. I think we can live without uh, speaking lies. And I think we can also live without stealing. We, we can still live with our own uh, simple means. And uh, Moses is telling the people of Israel that uh, the commandment of the Lord, as we are, I'm, I'm explaining, it is not far off. It is not something that is written somewhere in the ocean or some very far away. It is not in heaven. And uh, is to say that who shall who will go up for us to heaven at let your sharia no it's funny no your sharia see at ikobali sana that you need to buy it law is not bought law is given uh, freely so most is saying it is not beyond the sea that you can say oh ikobuko bali nani atatwede huko it is within us it is written in our hearts prophet ezekiel states clearly akasema uh Behold, I'm writing a new law, and uh, I'll create a new heart and a new uh, spirit in you, and my law shall be written in your hearts. Therefore, when God created us and created a conscience in us, everything is written there that you just need to you consult, and you know what you are supposed to do. So, these people... Uh, Moses is telling them that the word of God is sufficient. You don't need to look at other things, but following the word of God, it is sufficient. And this brings us to our gospel passage today from the gospel of Luke chapter 10. These are from verses 25 to 37, whereby as Jesus was busy preaching, teaching the people, a lawyer came. You all know who are lawyers. Lawyers know what about wanaaminika, wanasadikika, wamesoma sheria sana, and uh, they can quote constitution of the, the particular countries where they are. They, can, they have memorized, I don't know how many, sejui katiba yetu ikona how many vipenge, but I know there are seven chapters. And uh, in this chapter, there is uh, what is indicated there. And uh, above above the, the, the constitution it is meant to help us to live with others harmoniously that's what I'm saying if you only obey the law of the Lord or what is written in our, our the book of life our Bible you don't need you cannot be at loggerheads with the law because you know so long as you respect what is the property of the others and everything so this lawyer came to Jesus Na the gospel writers on Atwabia, he did not come genuinely. He wanted to test Jesus. Because being a very learned man, a lawyer, and a kuja kuulisa wea humuhubiri kutoka Nazareth, do you know what you are talking about? So he asked him this simple question. Um, what shall I do to inherit eternal life. So this, this quest, the first question is very genuine, to ask, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And this takes us back to the book of Deuteronomy, what we have, read, what we have heard today, that in order to inherit eternal life, you only need to obey the voice of the Lord, keep his commandments, you know, and uh, you know, turn to the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. So the lawyer knew this. Alikuwa memorized he. Kwa sababu, when he was asked the question, 
he said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. I think, uh, I don't know if some of us, I don't know if any one of us is doing this, is able to do this. Personally, maybe I'm not able to do so, to love the Lord with all my heart. Sometimes my heart can be taken maybe to Yansa Kupeda properties, Magari, uh, Vitu, other things. Maybe though my soul, uh, this is, uh, is okay. But with all my strength, am I putting all my strength to serve the Lord? Maybe not. Maybe I'm serving other things. And with all my might, sometimes, you know, all of us. So sometimes it's not very possible to do this. But it is possible to do part of it. Because to do part, the whole of it, it means you need to be holy and to be complete. And then also to love our neighbor. Therefore, Jesus, in our today's uh, gospel reading, is uh, want to teach us who is a neighbor. And uh, he gives us this story that we all of us call refers it to Good Samaritan. Why do we say Good Samaritan? Why not a, why not a bad Samaritan? I need to clarify to say that, as we are told the other day, who are the Samaritans? Who are the Jews? Uh, according to the history of these people is that uh, at a certain point, the 12 sons of Israel, they became divided into the northern and the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom was composed of 10 tribes, and the southern kingdom was composed of two tribes. The northern kingdom was referred to as Israel, and they had the capital Samaria. And uh, all those who came from Samaria, they were called the Samaritans. The southern kingdom uh, is called Judah. They have Jerusalem as their capital. And the, those who came from the side of Judea, they are called the Judeans. We are told in the history of these people that at, at, uh, there was also another country, uh, their neighbors, very powerful. They are called the Assyrians, where today we have Iraq where the current Iraq is where those people called the Assyrians were found. And these Assyrians, they attacked and uh, took hostage the northern kingdom, what we call uh, those people living in Samaria. And when these Assyrians could attack and uh, carry how Mahabusu or how, you know, the slaves, they made sure that uh, they destroyed Kabisa Kirakitu their culture, their lives, their families, everything. And ugeona kama metolewa mahali pamoja, when you are taken to Assyria, one is taken to the west, another to the north, another to, you know, east, so that kabisa, you cannot be able to come together and uh, continue worshipping. So, these Assyrians attacked the northern kingdom, and after attacking the northern kingdom, there were some remnants, See, not everybody is taken, especially during the war. Not everybody is taken to war. So some people still remain. So after some time, uh, some of these uh, people, uh, the Assyrians, they also sent some other governors, their people, to go and rule there. And there was a kind of intermarriages uh, between the remnants, what about Kwame Baki, who called Israel, now what about Metoka Syria, because now it's a colony. Uh, those are not news, especially if you are conversant with the history of the world. You know when uh, the Spaniards went and attacked the Indians in America, uh, what we call today uh, the United States of America, is uh, sometimes intermarriages between some people who came from Europe and the, the Indians. Uh, some of them we call the Red Indians, those from the South America. And, uh, you know, it's nothing original in America. They are sort of people. Sometimes back, uh, Germany attacked Italy, attacked Spain, and there were some intermarriages happen in Pale. Even among ourselves, especially the inhabitants of Isiolo, uh, there's a lot of intermarriages between tribes. Nasema Kenya Harisi wako hapa kwa sababu they don't belong to this tribe on the other. So the Samaritans we are the people who are the product of intermarriages. And therefore, the people of the south, 
walikuwa na wadespice walikuwa na waonea sasa watu hii ni watu ambao ni mchanganyiko these are not pure race these are not uh, pure people and uh, sometimes back in the history of the world there was a problem of a pure race if you know the history of uh, Hitler and the less who wanted to purify atoyole watu of your of your useless people to kill them let us not go back to let us not go to uh, germany let us go to uganda whereby uh, the dictator idi amin you know he wanted to purify uh, the ugandans and make sure that there are no handicapped people or bad people who remain to make them pure so there have been mad people in, our, in the history of the world and we don't have short of them even in our today's world we talk about the northern korea that uh, you know and other countries where by kuna mababani magumu sana even in china there are those problems so the judeans and the samaritans they could not cope kulikuwa na hiyo kwa madharau even in kenya is there eh kabila fulani wen kabila fulani metoka sehemu fulani kuna hiyo kwa madharau inakuwa katikati yetu na watu wengine and therefore uh, jesus uh, is going to give us an example of a samaritan who is good and uh, he is giving us a story as you know it that uh, they say jericho is down jerusalem is up there and they say to move from jericho to jerusalem is like 25 kilometers ni kama kutoka isiolo kwenda suboiga and uh, you can see it's climbing 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 up uh, that uh, by the time nafika subo iga uh, you know uh, it's too tiring and uh, in those days the road from jericho to jerusalem it was so narrow ilikuwa na makona makona because where the, the the terrain is hilly you don't make a straight low road you know unaiweka nyoka nyoka so that uh, you don't get so tired and uh, in those unajua wakati mwingine unaenda shopping huko Jerusalem unakuja umebeba vitu nyingi and uh, by the time una, unateremka kulikuwa na majabasi zugu ambao walikuwa na wagoja watu this is very common in Kenya kwa ba in some areas kuna kuwa na watu ambao wanakuaga mejihami kuhaga hagaisha wengine asamu sipita barabara hii masafa fulani kwa sababu utapata washenzi wamekugoja pale na watakudhuru uh, you know Samarias even where uh, where most of you come from you know there are some corners let us mention Nairobi there are some corners west bear peke yako kwa sababu utakutana watu ambao watakuu yeah, anyway the story is this one man ambaye labda alikuwa ameenda sokoni na akiteremka kutoka Jerusalem akielekea Jericho akakutana na gaidi na hao magaidi wakamchapa kichapo ya mbwa and they left him almost dead and uh, there are three characters who are passing by that same road one is a priest another one is a levite and a samaritan the priest akampita na levite why we are not supposed to condemn those people see at my father alikuwa by those times in tooth mode AUX mode and uh, once you go and offer sacrifices there were laws concerning the right of purification and uh, they were forbidden kugusa damu ya mtu and therefore huyu mtu ametoka kujana ameenda kujitakasa ametoka kujitakasa deposit aenda kumfanyia Mwenyezi Mungu uh, kafara so there, is, there could be no way ageda kugusa eh, hiyo damu ya mtu abaye hajui kama alikuwa amekufa or something the levites were most like the catechists of the of the day the, the levites walikuwa na saidia mapadre katika uh, altari and uh, therefore hata yeye kama ni catechist labda pia alikuwa na haraka alikwenda kufanya sherehe zake but then there came one man eh, abaye when he saw somebody lying on the ground akamhurumia na akaenda akapenda kujua huyu amekufa hajakufa akataka kumsaidia na akamchukua aka, fidoda zake akasiponya akamwagilia uh, wine na mafuta kidogo 
he gave him some first aid akamweka juu ya puda yake akambeba karibu na mahali angepata msaada he paid some money and uh, he said hata nikirudi kama kutakuwa na malipo zaidi i'm going to pay and then jesus is asking this lawyer among the three people whom do you think is a good neighbor and uh, the lawyer of course is is that samaritan that's where the term a good samaritan because this samaritan helped a judean ambao alikuwa makabila bawili tofauti ambao hawako na patana and uh, we can see now the contradiction that some people tunadharau tukifikiria they are useless they cannot help us kwa sababu they are poor kwa sababu they are weak kwa sababu we don't know come from which tribe they turn out to be the good neighbors and therefore as we come now to the theme of this our sunday as we conclude is that uh, the big question is who is my neighbor the question should not be who is my neighbor because it's clear a neighbor is a person in need of my help the person who actually needs my help it's not the question of money because most of the people they say pesa pesa no it's not okay money first of all is also an aspect but uh, the people who needs our help who needs our consoling words who need our advice who needs a helping heart people who are ignorant who need our knowledge people who are weak that they need that we carry them with our shoulders these are our neighbors and uh, our neighbors they are our first of all our immediate brothers and sisters kwaba nasakuwa katika familia these are my the immediate neighbors how am i with my brothers and sisters now asaidia na wafa all am i niko stu zangu niko kichwa ngumu such kind of things am i helping the immediate people first of all am i helping myself am i a neighbor to myself najisaidia mimi mwenyewe all nimejiachilia hivyo tu to my immediate family members the community members about to kona wao today we are talking about the story of the telephone where by the people who are far away thousand miles kilometers far away from us they are more closer to us than our immediate friends kwa sababu ya what we call ubaguzi uh, kubaguana that uh, we can uh, spend hours and hours talking to people who are far away but we don't see uh, the neighbor the person next to us who is in need of our help another thing is we are carrying a lot of grudges daniel rohozetu that you have a grudge with your father your mother your brother your sister kuna msamaha so you go to the neighbor kwenda kutafuta usaidizi kwa sababu you feel that uh, those who are here hawako pale and then what you call about tribalism in kenya kwaba uh, you feel this community ni bure haes kansaidia kitu nitaenda kwa wale wengine so this is also lack of neighborhood and therefore jesus is reminding us telling us we need to be good neighbors to the others and therefore mtihani wa siku ile ni kujiuliza how am i a neighbor to those that live closer to me like last week have you been a neighbor to any of the brothers to be a neighbor means you touch and transform the life of another person kuna watu wengi ambao wanasomesha watoto wengine unasikia mtu abaya kuna pesa anasema okay huyu mtoto nitamsomesha mpaka amalize masomo yake kuna mtu mwingine anaweza ona familia bao labda mama na kanja na nyeshewa igo and unamjagia kanyuba kati ngine unaona barabara mahali fulani it's, it's, it's impractical unakuja unafanya you know solving other people's problems that is being good neighbors and uh, we can quote so many neighbors in the history of the world for example uh, we have uh, people who discovered light that was a good neighbor someone who solved the problem of light in the world people discover the telephone huyo ni jirani mkubwa sana kwa sababu aliweza kusuluhisha matatizo ya communication you can also mention our president i had him the other day saying that amejaribu kuleta amani and i believe in him that uh, he has tried to maybe minimize any forms of violence so head of state that uh, you know he's saying in my term in my 10 years 
tujasikia vita yote i think he has been a very good neighbor uh, building bridges with all his weaknesses but you know he has tried he has tried to do something good we also have uh, even people uh, for example if he could mention also uh, our late bishop lokati you know he brought communities together kwa kuleta masomo maji hospitali na kila kitu he was a very good neighbor he came from you know italy but when he came he brought uh, harmony among the tribes we know among so many people in our communities who are so good and therefore ata mimi ni hesabike we are not supposed to be left behind by those people who are doing good things therefore as we go home today it's an invitation to all of us to ask ourselves am i a good samaritan am i a good neighbor am i behaving as somebody who understands others tunasema mtu ni utu humanity so uh, this uh, this song from uh, the late michael jackson let us make the world a better place for all of us uh, some of those of my age can understand when uh, in ethiopia there was a lot of famine because of war and uh, all the musicians came together and sang and say uh, let us make the world a better place we all have make a small space for each and every one of us we have so many songs that we can sing about uh, about being neighborhood but the most important thing is to ask myself to ask yourself am i a neighbor to the person who sits next to me am i a neighbor in my community am i a neighbor to my family ama watu wakikuona naona jangili do you see a, a, a gangster do people see a robber in me because katika familia i'm the one who is stealing the ile amani ambayo iko ndani ya familia katika familia matusi midi na iko ile na ile kubwa kiburi all those bad things we are not supposed to uh, to be that to our neighbors we are living uh, in isiolo whereby we are composed of so many communities so far they are naming six of them six communities major and uh, other uh, small small minor communities am i a neighbor to a samburu to a trukana to a borana to a kikuyu to a merian to a lo all those kind of ama are we neighbors ama katika ta uchaguzi wetu taanza ubaguzi ya sisi ni wamberu tutampi hatuwezi kukampigia eh, mkaba kura eh? sisi ni akikuja tuwezi kukampigia eh, eh? that should not be and therefore as we come to almost the period of of uh, uchaguzi wetu we are supposed to be to practice this kind of good neighbor uh, neighborly uh, what we say uh, ujirani mwema let us practice ujirani mwema that's why I remember also uh, our head of state sometimes aliogea kuhusu nyumba kumi. Nyumba kumi abazo you know we are supposed to be concerned wengine wanafanya namna gani wengine wako namna gani. We are also supposed to not to put big walls mbwa kali mbele ya nyumba zetu deposit watu wengine wasiweze kuingia. Wakati tunapoendelea kukuwa matajiri ama kubarikiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu this also a temptation kwaba eh, naigia kwa gari eh, kama mwenzi jirani yako na dana pipiki unaanza what we call mandharao eh, kwako unazingira vizuri deposit watu wasiingie huko eh, majirani wanaumia sometimes kenya when people have accidents sometimes eh, uh, we don't have uh, kuna kati ngine you can be discussed to be a good neighbor because you are afraid to be accused so i think if we love and respect one another we shall be good neighbors let us begin it kanisani nyubani and even our state so that Mwenyezi Mungu atasidi kutubariki and we shall have a peaceful state and a peaceful world tumsifu Yesu Kristo
Brethren, let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our good Lord is inviting us to practice good neighborhood. We ask his forgiveness and his pardon for the many times that we have been bad neighbors. We ask the Lord to purify our intentions, to purify our hearts, to help us to love him with our heart and our soul and not to surrender our hearts to other worldly things and worldly pressures. And we pray for the whole world and the whole church that we may be imitators of Jesus Christ, who was a good neighbor to all of us. Lord, graciously hear us. In today's gospel, we are reminded of the parable of the Good Samaritan who showed compassion and love to a total stranger in need. At St. Eusebius Cathedral Parish Community, we pray that we, we too become Good Samaritans in our daily lives and that we heed the call of Jesus when he tells us, go and do the same yourself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the volunteers in our St. Eusebius Cathedral Parish and the world at large who commit themselves to the care and welfare of those who are less well off in our society, the sick, the poor, the homeless, and the lonely. We pray to our Lord Jesus that he gives them the energy and commitment to continue in this work and that he justly rewards them when he welcomes them into his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who misunderstand, misrepresent, or are hostile to the Church of Christ. We pray that they come to an understanding that our Lord Jesus requires just one commitment from his Church, that they love one another and their neighbor as themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who have recently died in our St. Eusebius Cathedral Parish. We pray particularly for those who are close to us and for those who brought joy and love into our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the unemployed, the sick, and those living in poverty in our St. Eusebius Cathedral Parish and the whole world that they may benefit from the generosity of others and that the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ may be with them and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that peace and love may reign in our world, that justice and dignity may prevail in our time, 
that all creation may live in unity and harmony. We pray particularly for peace in Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. May your mercy be, we beseech you, Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity. Through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father.
Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty at our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O oh God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when you are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you set forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke the bread and gave, the, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Tunatangazaki for Chako Nakotokoza Ofo Fokawakot Baka Jak Baka Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which you show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church start as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our other pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Eusebius, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Oh, oh, amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command eh, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Amaniya bon Amani Amani donia nit Utupe amani Amani donia Utupe amani Amani donia nit Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not...
sala baada ya kumunyo roho ya Kristo nitakaze mwili wa Kristo niokoe damu ya Kristo nifurahishe maji ya ubavu wa Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishe ye Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madondo yako unifiche nitengane nawe kamwe na adui mwovu nikinge saa ya kufa kwangu niite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze daima na milele amina sala mbele ya msalaba e Yesu wangu mwema mno ninakuangukia nikikuomba kwa kutaka sana kutea moyoni mwangu imani matumaini na mapendo yako nifanyizie nitubu kweli dhambi zangu nitaki sana kugeuza mwenendo wangu ndio hayo ninayokuomba sasa ni wazapo kwa akili yangu madonda yako matano na kufikiria sana moyoni na kukuonea huruma maneno ya leo neno ya nabii Daudi aliyesema wakanitoboa mikono na miguu wakahesabu mifupa yangu yote amina toleo la nafsi yangu e bwana pokea hiari yangu yote poke kumbukumbu akili na utashi wangu wote yote nilio nayo au yaliyo mali yangu nimepewa nawe hayo yote ninakurudishia wewe na kuyaweka kabisa katika maongozo ya mapenzi yako nijalie mapendo yako tu pamoja na neema zako nami nitakuwa tajiri kutosha nisitamani kitu kingine zaidi amina Mungu aniongoze hikima ya Mungu iniongoze Enzi ya Mungu inimarishe, wema wa Mungu unijalie neema, mapendo ya Mungu yanikumbatie, utashi wa Mungu nitawale, utakatifu wake Mungu nitakaze, upole wa Mungu unifariji, utukufu wa Mungu nivute, ukubwa wa Mungu nijaze, mwanga wa Mungu niangaze, huruma ya Mungu iniopoe, utatu mtakatifu nibariki maishani na kufani amina. Tuombe E Yesu, ukarimu kwa wote wanaokuomba, uitunze neema yako, niendelee kukupenda. Umetakasa mwili na roho, na kuomba ulimi wangu ulio kugusa usiseme maneno mabaya. Moyo wangu ulio kupokea usitamani maovu. Mwili wangu unamo kao kutumikia kwa matendo ya haki. Unilinde katika hatari na vishawishi, unisaidie kuvumilia taabu na masumbuko. Unizidishia upendo wako nipate kufanana nawe zaidi amina. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, a saving effect upon us may grow through Christ our Lord.
Tumusifu ni Yesu Christo God is good And all the time Yes, tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu ametupatia fursa Ya kutana leo Chumapidi ya kuminatano ya mwaka Fira papa paloka amesema katika utangulisi wa misa So we thank God for this day as granted us And that the students have put it in their Thanksgiving song God is good all the time Tupigie mungu wetu makofi Asante Thank you so much. That's one way you can appreciate what God has done for us. We have no option but tell him a big thank you because it's always good and it's always with us. In a special way, I also wish to thank our students from Bishop Loka Technical Training Institute who have admitted mass. Thank you so much, students, for serving God with a lot of passion, excitement, and that's what makes God to give you blessings because it's a dedication and a commitment so we appreciate the prayers, the songs, and everything you have done. We have found a case to be a tour. We have found a case to be a tour. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. May God bless you, your parents, your families, your colleagues, your teachers, and whoever supports you. Be blessed abundantly and keep up the good work. We have found a case to be a tour. We have found a case to be a tour. Asante Fata. Our seminarians were with us. We have found a case to be a tour. The old assistants, ambao nafika hapa mapema, kufanya chukumulao tunasema asante. Kefo is in charge of the technical screens today, tunasema asante. Each one of you was participated in this month's big thank you for your active participation. Wala ambao nwageni, tumesema most welcome. We have a few announcements. This is the pink, the 15th Sunday in the ordinary time. Tumapiri chayo, lati pa ya misa itakuwa yufuatafio. Misa ya kwanza itaongozwa na wanafunzi wa Hekima Primary School na misa ya pili itaongozwa na St. Bridget Women Group. First mass which starts at 8 a.m. will be animated by students of Hekima Primary and the second mass ambayo inaanza saa 4 itaongozwa na kikundi cha St. Bridget Women Group. Leo ni chuma pili ya pili ya kumutolea mungu saka kwa hivyo kapula ya paraka ya mwishu tatoa saka setu being the second Sunday of the month St. Pius Men Group watakutana leo paada ya misa ya piri chumapiri chayo kutakuwa na second collection kwa minachiri ya kuchianda kwa family day yetu ambayo itafanyika tare 31 moja mwezi huu Tumuye na fikundi wanaomba kuendelea kuchipanga kufikisha target sao na pia tungependa kuwapongesa wala ambao wamepitisha targets na tunasidi kuwaimisa kwa chitarea. So we appreciate the feeders groups and tumuyas who are given targets in preparation of our family day. They are making a commendable work. So we continue urging you keep up the good work. In any case, we see mwana tumuya ama kikundi chote ya takanisa you can go to the office of the parish or see me so that you can give your contribution in the preparation for our family day to be held at the end of this month matangasi wa chumia St. Ambrose chumia watakutana kwa Jennifer Mugambi itakuwa siku ya alhamis saa kumina moja chioni chumia mtakatifu Teresa watakutana kwa asumbuta katune Takuwa siku ya alhamis Saa kuna moja chioni Senturi muangasa chumia Watakutana kwa Lucy Monchiro Itakuwa siku ya chumatano Wednesday Saa kumi chioni Na kutakuwa na misa ya shukurani Mutakatifu maiko chumia Itakutana kwa Elisa Kimati Itakuwa siku ya chumatano Wednesday Saa kumi na moja chioni Chumia mutakatifu Agostino Watakutana kwa Flora Njirubi Itakuwa siku ya chumaine That's on Tuesday Saa sita mchana Na kutakuwa na misa Ya ukumbusho Chumia ya St. Ignatius Waloyola Watakutana kwa Florence Njue Itakuwa siku ya Alhamis Saa kuna moja chioni Chumia St. James Itakutana kwa Joshua Mwiti Itakuwa siku ya Alhamis Saa kuna moja chioni Chumia St. Benedict Watakutana kwa Petrus George 
itakuwa siku ya Alhamis saa moja jioni. Tumusifuni Yesu Kristo. So before the final blessing as I have mentioned earlier, we shall bring our tithes to let us akasetu na file inakuwa mpangilio tutakuja tuweke semisako hapa wala ambao tukumekuta naso ukiwa umebeba saka yako baada ya paraka kutoka kwa fata utaweka kwa kisanduku ambacho kiko hapa mbeleni so may I request our five plant students to give us a song as we prepare ourselves to give our tithes and may God bless you abundantly for your active participation wish you a blessed Sunday and the week ahead Let us pray. God, our loving Father, we thank you for what you have offered to us, the gift of life, the gift of faith, the gift of our work, the good of our families. We come before you at the beginning of the month to render you praise with the gifts that you have granted unto us. We ask you, dear Father, the 10% that you have brought that it may be pleasing to you and it be acceptable as you accepted the gift of your holy servant Abel. We ask you to bless these families and the rest. Bless their offerings, bless their families and bless their work. And may what we offer help us also to continue loving and serving our neighbor because in doing so we are also serving you in one way or another. We ask you now your blessings over us and of our blessings and of our offer, offer, offerings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Once again, I take the opportunity to thank you for your active participation, for your support, and everything that you are doing. We continue asking you to continue praying for one another, supporting one another as Christians. We continue reminding uh, you that uh, our family day, Harambe, is scheduled for this uh, month, end of the month. And those who are not able, maybe they don't belong to the Jumuiya, to Meoba through a pay bill number. And also, if you consult uh, the, sec the secretary in our office, you can give your contribution of 2000 and above in order to support the building and the projects of the church. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is said dead. Let us go forth in joy of Christ. Have a blessed Sunday.